asking, what is the definition of progressive? Because that term has changed and shifted. I don't think it was me that changed. I think it was actually the term progressive that changed. I don't think there's much difference anymore between the messaging of, say, Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi and Biden and Kamala Harris about the Trump administration and kind of what the Bernie wing is. They sound very similar to me at this point. Because there is sort of this cancel culture that has invaded the left. And I feel like what happened was if you're a progressive, you can only call yourself a progressive if now it feels like unless you have to agree with everything 100 percent on the left and you really ultimately at the end of the day are a Democrat, that you cannot like anything that's going on in the right wing. The GOP is corrupt and, and evil and, and immoral. And if you even act like you like anybody on that side, you're just not on our team. And the more you do that, like you just divvy yourself up more and more and more until there's always like a tiny cluster of people who haven't been declared existentially evil. Free speech, you know, that's a big one. I don't know why that's some, suddenly now a right wing issue, but it is. And I am right there with them for it. I'm all about free speech. I don't think ideas should be censored, no matter how abhorrent you think those ideas are. Freeing Julian Assange and Edward Snowden. I mean, my, why is that something from Republican side of the aisle that shouldn't be, but it is? There is a growing authoritarian strain among left liberalism in the United States that is manifesting in things like being perfectly fine that the Trump administration throws Julian Assange in prison because Julian Assange is somebody who helped defeat Hillary Clinton and therefore he belongs in jail. That is an authoritarian, even fascist mindset. And I think that um, is a pretty common view. Whereas as a progressive populist, I would have some things in common with a conservative populist. So... Yes, there are times that I take on, I guess, right wing talking points. If those right wing talking points are conservative populist talking points, then I am going to agree with them naturally more than Democrats, establishment Democrats. I don't agree with any of those people. If the divine master plan is perfection, maybe next to give you this a try, trusting myself.